Good morning and welcome to this exciting program. I am very happy to note that more than 25,000 students are participating in the two courses of this program. As you will soon see from the introductory video or some of you might have already seen that, we plan this program to bridge the gap between what we learn in our academic environment and what is required to be known when we join the corporate world as a professional. So there are several things which are not covered in our academic courses but which are very important and critical. In IIT Bombay itself we realized it more than a decade ago when we found that our own students were not good enough in simple communication skills which are required for the corporate world. IIT Bombay put together a course on communication skills which is now a mandatory course for all our graduate students. Expert faculty members who have participated in these courses has also been advising the industry on training their own young recruits have come together to design this program called College to Corporate. In the process we have also been helped significantly by several industry experts, notably from one large corporate house. You may soon see some of their experts joining us in the subsequent face-to-face -face interaction. Let me introduce myself. I am Deepak Fatak, a teacher at IIT Bombay for more than 45 years. I am the coordinator of all the MOOCs and blended MOOCs programs that IIT Bombay conducts through IIT Bombay X and through other related national mission projects. For this particular program, as I mentioned, I have had the privilege of help from several of my faculty colleagues to design this course and to bring in their own expertise to help bridge this important gap between the academic learning of the students, as I said, and what is required in the corporate world. I would just like to introduce my colleagues, some of whom are here today with us, who will be involved in the first two modules of this particular program called College to Corporate. I would like to first introduce Professor Viren Sethi. Viren, can you raise your hand, please? So, Professor Viren Sethi, along with Professor Lina Jha. Lina, say hello to them. They and as I said, jointly with some industry experts and some other colleagues, will be largely handling the soft skills course. I will leave it to them to introduce the content and the approach uh, later in the morning. Let me now introduce another very, very important person in this entire program, Professor Parsarthi. Partha, I will just mention this to you. These three people and some of their colleagues are almost worshipped by our students for the pains which they take and for the individual interaction which they have with a very large number of our students who regularly take similar courses which are offered in IIT. I am very fortunate indeed that I have the privilege of their association and the association from some other industry experts as I said. I will just take two more minutes to tell you that while IIT Bombay, our faculty colleagues and the industry experts will put in all possible efforts to make this program the most useful program for you to bridge the gap between the academic life and the corporate life, much depends on you both individually and collectively in so far as the benefits that would accrue to you. Please remember that we expect for each module you should be able to put in anywhere between 6 to 8 hours of work per week to learn from the open source uh, platform that we use IIT Bombay X on which these courses are loaded. So that is the MOOCs part. Additionally, the faculty colleagues will give you activities, some of which would be group activities which will have to be undertaken in a coordinated fashion in your own institution. In fact, the need for 
local coordination in group activities is what has forced us to limit our offering only to those remote centers which have been our partners in rolling out large scale teachers training program. These are the institutions and I compliment them for their forward looking approach in coming forward to actually organize these courses for the direct benefit of students in their colleges. Each of the institutions from which students are participating has nominated a coordinator for each module. Please understand that all of you would be collectively and individually responsible to that coordinator in your college who will help you conduct individual and group activities, who will monitor and who will handhold you within your own college. In short, your workshop coordinator is actually a direct representative of my faculty colleagues who are conducting this program. And as I said earlier, you will benefit only to the extent that you apply yourself and you engage yourself with the course both individually and collectively. Let us together explore this wonderful bridge course which is being designed, I believe, for the first time in the country. Please note that while we have our own expertise, this program as a whole is being offered for the first time. There could be some deficiencies either in the platform or in the response time or getting familiar with the discussion forum and so on. Please keep in mind that we need to work together collectively in order to achieve our ambition of providing the bridge between the academic world and the corporate world. Thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, course. Um, I want to thank Professor Fatak for the introduction, which sets the context for the course. And as we go along, we will uh, keep reinforcing some of the things that Professor Fatak had mentioned. Uh, and uh, take it from there. Um, you don't have to worry about the overall course. We will uh, keep sharing with you as whatever the next activities are there. Uh, so you don't have to, you, your attention should just be on the work that we're doing now and uh, not to worry about the rest. So the schedule is available, everything else is available and uh, you just need to come and play. Okay? So welcome all of you across the country and uh, we will introduce ourselves a little later, but I just wanted all of us to say hello to you so that then we can formally start. So my name is Virendra Sethi. I'm a chemical engineer by training and I work in the Center for Environmental Science and Engineering at IIT Bombay. Uh, I'll now request uh, Dr. Jha to share. Hi, I'm Dr. Lina Jha. I'm a business communication consultant and I've been working, I've been associated with IIT Bombay for now 10 years. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this program. I'm Professor Parth Sarathi. I'm with the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences at IIT Bombay. And uh, I've also been uh, uh, teaching and participating in training programs on various aspects of communication skills, but also uh, related skills related to gender and diversity, uh, workplace communication, and a range of other uh, skills which are required for students to do well in their careers beyond the knowledge they acquire in their respective subjects. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Lina Jha. Thank you, Professor Partha Sarthi. Uh, I um, would like to then begin uh, this formally, and uh, uh, I will now use the uh, slides. So, um, I know there's uh, so many of you out there and uh, even a half a minute or a one minute over here, sometimes that delay uh, can keep you anxious. So I myself am not too used, not too used to this uh, distance mode uh, learning. I'm more familiar with somebody sitting in front of me. I can see them in real time with no time lag, etc. Uh, so please bear with us and keep including some of these technical hitches that might be there, as also Professor Fatak had mentioned. Uh, so at this point in time, actually, I'd like to see some of you uh, so that I have a sense of, you know, who we are talking to. Otherwise, it seems like we are talking to a, a video camera and that's a little strange. So I'd like to kind of get to see uh, some of you. All of us would like to get to see some of you and say hello to you. And maybe also check to see uh, if you say hello, whether we can hear you or not. 
okay so let's just go over that little exercise and uh, then we will start okay map coach link tamil nadu okay so if you can see us please raise your hand and shake your hand wave your hand like to us so we know that you can see us okay and you can hear us okay great and so a big hello okay a big hello to everybody how many participants there on 500 participants are there and they are in different locations in sir around um, 50 students are there excellent so i want to see 50 yeah i want to see 50 hands up all right so i can count 1 2 3 4 yes there's 51 over there okay very good <laughs> okay thank you very much okay next please Udaipur my favorite city how are you we are good hi right, very good so how many in the room excellent around 170 excellent all right so please you know feel included and uh, this course is for you really so thank you for your participation all right everybody can hear me okay if you can hear me okay do a thumbs up excellent all right good and i don't know some of you want to stand up at the back and say hello all right hello everybody <laughs> welcome all right hello. okay next please one more and then we will start all right goa college of engineering oh, no. is this where iit is also set up is that correct yes, yes. if yes always do thumbs up okay very good excellent so uh, could the coordinator please tell me your name hello i'm Hi. the coordinator for rc1058 mega nayak All right, Mega. Thank you for doing all the work. You're welcome. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. You know, so you are the one who will be holding the safety net for how many people in the room? We have around uh, 100 registered, but right now we have around 90 present here. All right, excellent. So uh, all these hundred people, including the ones who will come a little later, please include them. And uh, people who are already here, you make sure that they do not miss anything. Anybody who comes in late. sometimes circumstances are there and people are late so if anybody is late please make sure you include them and make sure you fill them in on whatever they may have missed okay so i'm banking on your partnership to fulfill on the yeah sure yeah okay thank you very much mega thank you all right thank you. Thank so yeah so are we all ready to begin then say yes okay very good all right so let's go to the slides okay so i think we have uh, already stated um, that uh, this program is for students who are moving from an academic setting to a corporate setting or to a professional setting or to a postgraduate setting so uh, this is valid for uh, just about the entire group of people who are about to start on a new journey i think up to the college um, things are happening pretty much on a on an automatic so you know you and i were born and then we went at some point in time to kindergarten nursery and then we went to some school and then the big decision had to be made sometime in class 10th as to whether to go for science or to go for social sciences humanities and then at the end of class 12th the decision of what we want to do next but up to the college pretty much it's like pretty clear we are going for education education and more education and it's very well structured so one of the things i share with some of the students when they join over here at iit bombay is while it may have seemed like the school is very structured you have timetable you have 8 o'clock to 8:45 one class 8:45 to 9:30 another class there is a certain structure and we come to take it for granted even up to class 12th i think uh, that structure is well in place and there is teachers and there's family who's you know there to support that entire structure and suddenly something happens when you enter college uh, suddenly suddenly nobody is asking you uh to attend classes and somebody is not you know giving you uh threats of punishment and i think the only place sometimes it comes in the form of um so i keep looking at the screen down there i really need to look up at the camera okay so hello everybody all right yeah so yeah so in college you know nobody is really asking you to there is a timetable there is a set of lectures but by and large we are not 
uh, required to. I mean, if you do, we do. Otherwise, the only threat that comes is that you may not be able to write your board exams or the final exams because your attendance is not good enough. Okay, so somewhere that uh, there's a certain amount of disorientation, there's a certain amount of disillusionment that happens. At least that's what I had experienced, and from talking to many people, uh, they've also seen that somehow, somewhere, their performance, so to say, uh, dips a little bit uh, when they go to college. Nothing happened to your intelligence, nothing happened to your commitment, it's just that the structure changed. Now, if that being in a college already happened, I just want you to start imagining now that you are going to now go into the corporate world where you will be expected to behave, from point of any other word, you would be expected to behave as an adult. Um, oh, by the way, you are entering into adulthood now. So, it is important for you to begin to actually uh, inquire into what is an adult versus what is, this, what is a student or uh, what is a professional versus what is a student. Okay, so, those are some of the questions that are going to begin coming up. Each one of you, it will be in different flavor and uh, it is an interesting inquiry. It is an interesting adventure uh, which you now will be stepping into. So, our effort really uh, is to be able to share some of the things that have uh, happen with ourselves as uh, human beings uh, as well as the experience that we have from having uh, taught thousands of people, thousands of students. Um, we at IIT Bombay are uh, funded by the Ministry of Human Resource Development. So, we position ourselves and our teaching and our training and research in a single focus which is our job is to develop you as human beings as a resource. Okay? So, you are a resource for the country, you are a resource for the planet. Uh, I know sometimes we do associate ourselves with a resource for ourselves or for our families, uh, but I am just extending that um, platform to be able to include uh, your city, your state, your country and the entire planet. So, you are a resource and we as a faculty or we as coaches or we as your partners here on this side of the camera are actually going to be relating to you as you being a resource. So, the future of the country, the future of the planet uh, rests with you and it is very inspiring for me and for my uh, colleagues here to be interacting with you and be in some small way be able to impact that. Okay, so, that is as far as uh, the context for me is concerned and I uh, will keep reinforcing it, we will keep talking about it. Uh, and that there will be an opportunity I will give you when you can also give me some feedback on what you heard from what we said. Okay, so, I will move on to the next slide now. Uh, so, there are many modules, but the first two modules is what we will be introducing to you today. Uh, the first module is called soft skills. In brief, we refer to it as SS and we will do this in the morning sessions uh, from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, the exception being today because, because it is an introduction. So, we will only be dealing with um, the introduction part till 11 o'clock, then we will take a 15 minute break and then Professor, Professor Parthasarthi will come and share with you about the workplace communication. But otherwise for the other three face to face sessions that we have, we will in the mornings deal with soft skills from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then in the afternoon we will deal with uh, workplace communication. I think I missed out the C, the communication in that slide. So, it is workplace communication which is in brief referred to as WPC. Uh, in between 1 and 2, we will have a lunch break and uh, I just want to let you know that it is important to have lunch. Uh, the sessions will be quite intense. So, you will need the energy. Uh, some of you might think you might be able to fast. I recommend that you not fast on the days in which we do the face to face. Um, I do not know what the arrangements would be at the college if there is a canteen, especially on a Saturday. Uh, so, please do bring uh, enough food with you, water with you, uh, some fruit. So, anything just ok. I do not want to be a parent here right now. Uh, so, just make sure that you are taken care of in terms of your, uh, your well being. Um, ok, so that is as far as the uh, schedule is concerned. Um, so, there are two modes in which we will conduct these modules. Uh, the first is face to face which is like today and there will be three other Saturdays on which we will do that for which I have given the 
uh, schedule above, mornings and afternoons of Saturdays. And then there will be a weekly quiz. Uh, this is really in preparation for the face to face. Okay? Um, I, I know, I mean, I was always told in school and even more so in college that you know what will be taught in the next lecture. So if you read up, even if it is 10, 15 minutes of reading that you do of the chapter that will be covered uh, during the lecture, then your understanding, your appreciation of the lecture enhances tremendously. Okay? And uh, you are also then maybe ready to ask some questions. Otherwise, typically what happens is you go out for a lecture, you have no idea what is going to be covered in the lecture and you just for the first time maybe grappling with the terms and grappling with the new vocabulary and you know it does not have the kind of effectiveness that uh, it could have. So going, by, going with the same um, line of um, preparation, uh, the face to face uh, is the event where you can come and interact with us, uh, but really the preparation and the work that happens uh, happens between the two uh, Saturdays when you do these quizzes. Now, each one of us has a very different kind of a relationship with exams and quizzes. I uh, just want to assure you that we are not intending for this to be hard for you. Okay? This is not intended to be hard. It is intended for your engagement. We want you to be engaged. We do not want to load you up with enough work. Professor Fatak had mentioned that 6 to 8 hours of work would be required every week and that is true, you would be required to do that work. Uh, however, it is not like an exam that you have to be getting ready for. Uh, this is before you start any game, uh, before you start anything which is of a nature of physical exercise, you would go for a warm up. So even the Indian national cricket team, you know, before they go for a match, they do some warm up and between two matches they practice, okay? they do net practice. So in, in, in some sense the work we are going to do between two sessions will be more like net practice and uh, warm up uh, so that the face to face when you actually come for the match so to say uh, that you will be re ready to hit your uh, sixers and fours. Okay? So um, that is what I want to say about the uh, two modes. Uh, of course, at any point in time, if you have questions, we will give you an opportunity to ask any questions so that there can be clarity. And I know there is a lot of people uh, out there who are attending and there will be as many questions. Uh, but you should just know that by and large, uh, between two and three uh, questions, uh, most questions get answered. Okay? So we will, try, we will attempt to answer uh, so most of your questions. And uh, if there is still a question which is burning and we have not been able to answer, you are welcome to communicate to us and we will also explain how to do that. In fact, uh, I would appreciate if the uh, center coordinators uh, could brief the participants as to how to communicate uh, so that uh, everybody has access to us uh, during this uh, entire uh, duration of the course. All right, the last thing that over there is, uh, so this is the last thing that I am adding there. The schedule is on IIT Bombay X. Uh, the dates are fixed. The contents may change a little bit. We have proposed certain topics and certain content. Uh, however, as Professor Fatak mentioned, we are really dealing with this course for the first time. So depending on the feedback you get from, we get from you, depending on the interactions we have with you, uh, we may modify some of the content. Uh, but we have time for that. So while you will be working on your quizzes, uh, we will continue to work on modifying the content so it better uh, uh, serves you. Okay? Again, one more time, today is the first first face to face session and there are three other Saturdays, uh, 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sorry, we will not go for uh, 20 hours, my apologies. Uh, we will go only for uh, uh, the day, 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Uh, by the way, uh, we can consider going for all nighters also at some point in time, but depends on whether you demand it or not. Okay? All right. So let's get to the first module. Uh, we call it soft skills, and I'll tell you very frankly. I when we first uh, said soft skills, uh, my immediate thought was, I really don't know what soft means. <laughs> okay. So uh, of course, these days you go to the internet and do some search and you know you begin to bring, bring some clarity. 
so we will do a little exercise here today to kind of uh, flush out what soft skills means to you. Um, and uh, each one of us does, each one of us we do have a different, our own interpretation of soft skills. Uh, so here's something that I'd like for you to do, we'll take a, uh, we'll take two minutes break now and uh, I'd really like for you to take out your notebooks, uh, take out your pens and just take two minutes uh, to be able to write in your notebook uh, as to what is it that you mean by soft skills, okay? What is it that you mean by soft skills? So we'll pause for two minutes. Uh, please go ahead. I'll let you know when one and a half minutes is over. So then you can wind up in another half a minute, all right? So let's begin now. Okay, maybe take another half a minute or so. All right, thank you for doing the work. And uh, now we'll, let's go to the next step. Okay, so um, let me just, this says discuss with partner, two minutes each partner. Um, who's your partner? Okay, so the person sitting next to you is your partner. So say hello to the person sitting next to you. And if you don't have a partner, I request the coordinator to please take a minute or so to rearrange such that everybody has a partner. And if the total number of people in the class or in the room are even number, then everybody has a partner. If it's an odd number, then maybe one team can be three people, okay? But otherwise, everyone should have one partner. And some of you may not know each other, so take a minute, say hello to each other, no problem. All right, so where are we? Molana Azad, Bhopal. Hi, Bhopal. Molana Azad, hello, all right, excellent, all right. So, uh, yes, show me your partner, point to your partner. So, point to your partner. Hello. Who's your partner? Excellent, all right, very good, very good. So, who is the coordinator there? Um, what's your name, madam? Myself, Dr. Madhvi Shakya. Okay, Dr. Madhvi, thank you. So, everybody's hello. got, a, everybody has hello. a partner. How many people in the room, madam? Yeah, we are having like that only. One team is with three people. Okay, thank you. So, with your partner, you have to share now, okay? So, please, let's go to the next center. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Amravati, hello. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Very good. So, everybody have a partner? Okay, point to your partner like this. Point to your partner. All right. Shake hands with your partner. Shake hands with your partner. Excellent. All right. Very good. So, thank you. Who's the coordinator there, sir? Yes, I am Professor Kale, I am RC coordinator and Dr. Edi Shirbati is workshop coordinator. Okay, thank you both of you for all the work. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, very good. All right, so let's begin with, let's go back to the slides now. And what I'd like for you to do is share with your partner, what is it that you mean by soft skills? Okay, so please take two minutes each. But really talk to your partner as to why you are participating in this course. What is it that you would like to get out of this course? What, do you, what are the things that you want to get trained in? So please talk to your partner. Your partner is your best buddy, okay? It's your best friend, all right? So you didn't know that till now, but now you know. This person is your best friend, okay? So listen to that person as your best friend and talk to each other about what is it that you mean by soft skill. Okay, so we will take two minutes each. So I will tell you when two minutes are over. All right, thank you. So now the other partner should start talking. Otherwise, sometimes one partner keeps talking. So we want to make sure that both partners get a chance. So the second partner, the second person should start talking. And what you should be sharing with your partner is, what do you mean by soft skills? What does soft skills mean to you? Mean to you? Okay, take another two minutes, please. All right, so... Thank you for sharing the work and I know I can't hear you but you know would you please give a big hand to each other, a big hand to you for doing the work and uh, let's just now what we will do is we will actually listen to you and when you are sharing then you are sharing with your on screen and you're being listened to by a large number of people. Now sometimes that can get a little scary okay so don't worry you just have to worry about the people in your class. Be make, make sure that you communicate to them and everybody will get the communication, all right? So let's just go to a center to ask, uh, so ask some of you, what is it that you think is soft skills, okay? So let's do that now. 
Valchand College of Engineering, Sholapur. Okay, excellent. All right. You know, I visited you. So I visited uh, Sholapur recently. In fact, I had come to your college during your uh, festival and got a chance to meet with uh, some of the senior professors over there. So, um, hello, everybody. Hello. I, I just, I just love the enthusiasm. Fabulous. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, may I speak with the coordinator? Who's the coordinator? I'm Professor Lobo. Hi, the Professor. coordinator from Alton Institute of Technology. Yes, thank you very much for arranging for all the, you know, students to be there. And uh, I can, you know, it's so far down in the hall. It's just such a pleasure to see how many people in the room. Uh, this is only the main hall with 450 participants. <laughs> and there are, one, there are 1037 participants. All right, I think we should ask Professor Fatak to kind of institute uh, an award for the most number of participants, okay? We should consider doing that. All right. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, so, Professor Parthasarthi is saying, you know, the, this is like a Shah Rukh Khan event over here, okay? All right, who would like to share? So, would you please, Professor Lobo, would you please request somebody uh, to share what is it that they are sharing with their partner about soft skills. Please share. Sir, I'm asking to my partner what is soft skill she shared to me that is soft skill including a communication skill, the way person interact and body language user while interacting with others. Excellent. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. So how many, how many of you in the room uh, think that is soft skills for you also? So if you agree with what they said, if that is something for you also, please raise your hands. Oh, very good. So a large, yeah, very good. So a large number of you think that that is what would be required. Uh, that those are the soft, those that those are the components of soft skills. Okay. So who else? One more person, please. Uh, for us, uh, soft skill means uh, the gest. It will include all the gestures and the body language, and uh, it's a part of our regular life. Like English is. So even before technical skill comes, uh, soft skill comes before that, how a person presents himself mm. in the first impression. So I think it is quite important to have soft skill. Excellent, that excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Walchand College of Technology, way to go. All right. Way to go. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's, let's go to the next college. Raipur. Hello, Raipur. All right. Excellent. How many people in the room? The 32. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for all the arrangements that have been made over there. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so who would like to share what do you think is soft skills? The soft skill is a way to represent ourselves in front of different people. Excellent. Uh, and express ourselves. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, who else? Who else? One more person. Which can be dealt with simple logics. No need of technical stuff. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. It's actually that simple. Okay. I don't know, you know, sometimes soft, I don't know what soft means, but the way you said it, it is as soft as it could be. Okay. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Big hand. Honestly speaking, right now what he said is actually soft skills. It, it's within all of us. It is within all of us. And what we are doing here is awakening that sense. So perhaps when we would go through those lessons, you would realize that soft skill actually is something which you had in yourself always. It's just that we try now to bring it a four. Thank you. All right, yeah, excellent. All right. One more college. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. I'm Anjana from Lala ICAM, Chennai. Uh, soft skill is something other than technical about. So it's something other than technical, like uh, your personality development about a person and how you represent yourself. Okay, fabulous. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry, you said it is something which is other than technical, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the whatever you know technically or whatever you know, when we say technically, it is not just science, it is not engineering. Uh, we also want to include humanities and social sciences, arts, commerce, economics. Fine arts. We want to include everybody. Okay, but I just want you to know that uh, while it may seems, it may seem, you know, that 
uh, there is a method to the college training uh, and soft skills is something like a natural talent or something like that. There is nothing like natural talent. Okay? Uh, the, you, yeah, you, it is a matter of training. So, whatever you know technical, the technical aspect which we keep referring to, at some point in time you put yourself through the training and that is why you know what you know today. Okay? I mean, I'll, I can give example, you know, when you were a baby, you were only crawling on the floor, you did not know how to walk. Uh, it was not natural for you to start walking. There was effort that got put in. Somebody put their hand forward and you held their hand and you stood up. Somebody found a chair in the room and you used that to stand up. You know, so there was practice that went into it. There are things that have happened structurally, not, but nothing unconscious. It is very conscious. Okay? So, we, the intent of this module is to give access to quote unquote soft skills in the, through a method. So, we want to be able to have you practice certain things which will give access to the quote unquote soft skills and at some point in time you will not even call it soft skills because that will be you. So, there is no distinction between the skill and you, you are that person. So, then you know you do not say I am now going to walk, you walk, you do not say I have walking skills do you, you actually when you need to walk you walk and when you need to sit down you, need to, you sit down. So, similarly when it is appropriate for you to communicate something you have the practice, you have the wherewithal to be able to do that without having to think of now I must apply this particular formula, now I must apply this particular technique. No, you do not do that, you do it very naturally. Okay? So, that is our intent. So, thank you very much uh, for sharing that and we will move on to the, uh, can we have one more person share from your college? Good morning sir, I am Sharon from Loyola College of Engineering and Technology. Actually, I was so so, uh, soft skills according to me what I thought was is just how you present anything in a very simple manner which is uh, to a person not only technical subjects but anything that you need to present it to someone in a, in a well natural way. That is that's what I understood about All right, it. excellent, excellent. So, that triggers another thought for me and uh, what you are saying is that when you have to present uh, you have to do thinking as to how you would do the presentation etc. It is, it reminds me when I learnt how to ride a bicycle. Okay? I had to hold the handle, I had to put the foot on the pedal and then I do not know how I was supposed to climb. So, it is a big question as to how to ride a bicycle. Okay? But with practice and after falling several times, after bruising many knees, after you know elbows bleeding sometimes, after getting scolding from my grandmother saying no more riding a bicycle from you because you keep getting hurt. After all of that at some point in time I learned to ride a bicycle. Now for many many years now you know I have not maybe about 15 years now I have not ridden a bicycle, but I know for sure that if I were to get onto a bicycle I will be able to ride it no questions asked. So, we would like for you to be someone who is committed to learning how to ride the quote unquote bicycle of communication and bicycle of soft skills. So, please tell me what I just said. To tell it in a different way as to have presented what you had told about how to ride a bicycle or is it like uh, to present myself or is, is it that what you are asking sir? No, do not worry about uh, just, just say what you heard. I said many, many, many things, you know, I will keep doing this, suddenly I will start talking some things and then I do not know whether, you know, what I said was received or not received. So, I have to make sure that I am communicating, right? So, I just wanted to ask you, what is it that you heard in what I said? You had basically said like uh, you were taught to how to uh, ride a bicycle, but when you had uh, not uh, fallen down. Your grandmother had said that you should not uh, ride the bicycle in this particular way, but in a particular, uh, in other uh, perspective way or in a different way. That is what I had understood sir. Excellent. All right. So, my mother, my mother scolded me that is well established, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I and you know I will tell you my mother, my, my grandmother scolding is I will tell you the way it shows up. There are people around you who will, 
my mother loved me okay she cared about me so she didn't want me to get hurt okay that that so i my all my love for her all my respect for her but when it comes down to people around you are there people who are encouraging you or there are people who are saying hey you can't do it hey <laughs> okay so you have to be careful you have to make sure there are people around you who are supporting you so who's your partner here uh, right behind me okay so no so you're going to be sharing with that partner who did you share the last exercise with uh with you okay very good so both of you each of you so both partners have to commit to each other's growth and development you have to be your partner you have to support each other also oh, here's your partner okay welcome partner hello sir all right very good so you want to i'm i'm using both of you as an illustration i'm using you as an example both of you as partners are going to commit to each other's growth and development yes Okay very good. So when what what are your names? I'm Bula. I'm Sharon. So when Sharon is riding a bicycle, who's who's going to hold it? Myself. Very good. I have to hold very it. Very good. And when you are riding the bicycle, who will hold it? I have to support her. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now you should know you don't have to. You don't have to. It's not a requirement. But if she has learned it properly, I can I may not hold it. Uh, I can uh, encourage her by saying that yes, she is doing well. But if she isn't uh, progressing well, I need to support her. Uh, okay, very, very good. I, I like, I, I like the commitment that you bring to this. Okay, thank you very much. All right, big hand for both of you. Thank you, thank you. Next uh, center. Hi, Punjab. How are you? Okay, all right, very good, very good. So please tell me what is it that you and your partner shared about soft skills? What does soft skills mean to you? one person please share so we shared that uh, the the body language and the speaking skills and the personality the whole constitutes to our soft skills okay excellent excellent everybody how many people in the room agree with that all right excellent does anybody have anything else to add to that anything new which is not included in what he said Third, to have pleasant and appearing attitude towards our environment, having po positive attitude without people which we have to work. Uh, that is the uh, self trait means self uh, skills, soft skills which we have to deal with. When we have to deal with our people, our environment, uh, we should be softly. We should have means much more experience to deal with all the people. My salute to you. My salute to you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very well said. Very very well said. Okay. Who's the coordinator there, please? Hello, sir. This is Professor Kamar, the coordinating whole of the activity, and I do have my partner, Dr. Rakesh. He is out to just resolve one of the technical issues. Rather, everything is going uh, smoothly. About uh, 96 students registered for this particular program, but at present we have over 120 students sitting over here. Okay. That's a good kind of a breakdown. It's a kind of breakdown we want to have. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> So professor Kamar thank you very much for your help and for uh, for organizing so that we can serve this uh, young group of people thank you very much thank you sir yeah thank you. thank you all right so we will move on to the next set of uh, slides all right here's the next uh, slide uh, uh, and uh, this is where i'd like for you to kind of let your imagination loose okay uh, see Uh, you and i know ourselves a particular way and we think we need to get trained uh and sometimes we know why we want to get trained sometimes it's so that we can get a better job uh, a better salary uh but leave jo leave job and leave salary aside for a moment and uh, i just want to have you inquire maybe for one or two minutes if there was some magic okay there was some magic and soft skills became available to you right now okay soft skills everything that you know about soft skills it became available to you right now what would your life look like okay or how would your life uh, be better okay what 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 would be the new dimension of your life that opens up so take maybe one or two minutes to write this is very important okay it's very important for the entire course because you know a few weeks from now i might ask you to come back to this and see whether this is getting fulfilled or not okay 
So please take a minute or two and write down in your notebooks how would life look like if magically the soft skills were available to you. So I'll give you one minute now. Please take your time. I'll let you know when it's about time. Please go ahead. Take a minute. SIES College, Navi Mumbai, please raise your hand if you can hear me. Hello, sir. Very Excellent. good morning. Excellent. Good morning. What's your name, sir? Good morning, sir. This is uh, Dr. Vijay from SIES College, Nirul Navi Mumbai. All right, Dr. Vijay. Thank you for being there. Could you please ask one of the participants to share what is it that we are asking them to do now? Sir, uh, you asked us if uh, we had by magic got the soft skills available to us, how would it change our life? Yes. So I believe that. Uh, no, don't, 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 positive... don't, 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 don't share yet. I just want to know whether you got the exercise. You got yes, the sir, exercise. We, I shared it with my partner. We, yeah, we were talking about the same thing for a while. Okay. So you're a little ahead of the course right now. No problem. <laughs> All right, no problem. So thank you. So what, just say the exercise again so that the other 24,999 people can hear it. So you asked us to uh, think about uh, a situation where uh, we are uh, uh, soft skills. The soft skill is magically available to us. And if that is so, then how would it change our life? And how would it make it better? Excellent. Excellent. Very well said. Okay. Very well said. You should become a part of our team next time. Okay. You, co you, you, you communicate yes, very well, sure. so become a part of our team. All right, big hand, all right, very good. All right, good. So please take a minute to do that exercise. If soft skills magically became available to you, how would life look like? Go ahead, take a minute and do some notebook work. Thank you. Okay, STC College of Engineering. Hello, everybody. <laughs> all right, very nice. So one of, who's the coordinator? Hello, sir. This is Nagesh Matharia. Nagesh, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a fabulous group you got over How are you, sir? There. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so please have somebody share uh, what is it, how would life look like if magically soft skills were available? Hello, sir. Hello. My name is Kiran. When uh, we have a soft skill, then uh, our life is better than today's. Because our interaction and also our behavior with another person are better than today's. Very good. So, Kiran, tell me one person in your life whose your relationship will change that with that person. Are you smiling? <laughs> All right. So, tell me one person in your life with who your relationship will change if you had soft skills. Uh, sir, uh, he, this is my, my father, my papa. Because yeah. uh, they they can change my life because uh, my papa's behavior with everyone is uh, so much better without any soft skills. Very well said. Very well said. So you should now know that when we say soft skills, it is not just from college to corporate. Okay, it includes your family. Yes, it includes your parents. Yeah, fabulous. So have you soft ever skills. said? Have you ever acknowledged your father for having great soft skills? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So you'll do that today also, please, from my side. Will you say thank you to him from yes, my side? Sir, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, what's his name? Yes, sir, definitely. My father is Oprah and he is a farmer. Excellent. So will you please tell him that he has a fabulous daughter? Thank you, sir. Yeah, very good. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Okay, one more person, one more center. Let's go to another center. This is Vidya Pratishtan, Pune. Pune, hello Pune, how are you? Excellent, all right, very good. So, will one of you please share what would become available to you if you had soft skills available magically? Uh, as soft skills are some kind of interpersonal skills other than technical skills such as social intelligence and emotional intelligence, attitude threat, it's actually important other than technical skills to be successful in today's world. Very good. So, tell me for you, Personally, don't I don't want the overall general. I want you want to know if soft skills were available to you magically just now. How would your life look like? For now, it would be uh, being a better student, standing somewhere out of the crowd. Okay, very good. Okay, BDT College of Engineering. Hello. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So, one of you, please share with me what would 
be available to you if you had soft skills available right now if i had acquired soft skills by magic then i would have a plus certificate if character certificate would be issued to me sir <laughs> okay well said well said all right thank you next person please one more person i would like to say that uh, and also there would be certain growth in our career and our attitude towards life would change sir so tell me about you where in your life your attitude will change presently i am studying in a uh, uh, tier 2 or tier 3 college sir so getting placements at the end of the final year is a bit difficult for me but if i would have uh, soft skills overnight sir i can attend any campus interview maybe off campus whatever it be sir i can uh, confidently attend okay so it will impact your confidence yes sir fabulous I well think done it will be a great impact on our confidence sir excellent ari well done okay well done well done well said okay and i think that's a concern that a lot of you know people in your college uh, stage at your age that's a concern that a lot of you would have so i appreciate it okay and we will do everything in order for us to be able to serve that but the work has to be done where you are so you need to do the work we'll only be able to guide you maybe direct you but the hard work needs to be done where you are is that okay if yes put a thumbs up excellent all right well, well done all right now i know i'm going to be i got another 3 minutes left and i have 10 hours of work to do so i'll just show you how that works magically okay so i'm going to request professor partha sarthi for 5 minutes of his time so that i can complete the work okay so we will take a break at 11:05 which is in about 8 minutes is that okay okay good all right so the next slide okay so i'm just going to now go over these slides so please be with me i'm going to go at a very fast speed so please hang in there with me as i'm saying these just put everything else aside just listen carefully okay you got to be at the edge of your seats listening carefully the course is about you for you dedicated to you to serve you 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 are here because you have a commitment to your growth and development we are here to honor your commitment this is us setting up our relationship with you so we are here to honor your commitment you will be creating a future of life and there's no grammatical error over there i actually mean of life you will be creating a future of life with the newly invented you that is our intention who you are is already fabulous our interest is that a new you can be invented so that where you could walk now you can ride a bicycle also so there'll be a new invention of you it is inside of honor we are not here to deal with you like little children in a class we are not here to do policing work we are not here to be a strict teacher we are doing this inside of honoring your commitment for growth growth and development so i hope this remains with you but we will keep reminding this is about honor honoring you honoring your commitment honoring you who you are already and the newly you that that will get invented so we request you to keep bringing honor to the work we do together so please follow instructions and do the work and the relationship that we have with you okay so we we relate with you as great as somebody who is going to do the work inside of honor and therefore you know i'd like for you to kind of commit to that as well so we have already started the journey so i'm going to move on further we've also in some sense introduced ourselves so i'll move further so i just want you to know that the intent here is not to give you tips and tricks okay tips and tricks is not something that we are interested in you can always find those and use those no problem uh what we are really interested in is looking at new worlds that will become accessible to you so we have made we have been, each one of us has been made into who we are by circumstances okay that includes family friends school college okay so our environment shaped us in some way we made some decisions about life at some point in time and who i know myself to be is a sum total of all the decisions that have been made in the past okay given that our world is limited now we are only know ourselves a particular way and there isn't much opening happening which will allow for us to access new worlds we have only been able to master and i say only uh because it's very very small amount we have been able to master only a small fraction a very small fraction of the spectrum that is available to human beings okay 
there's a large spectrum available we have only been able to utilize in our young lives. You know, I'm assuming you'll be somewhere in your late teens or early 20s. A very small fraction, you know, has been really picked up from the entire spectrum. So, uh, just to give an example, uh, visible light, everybody know visible light? That's only a very small part of the entire electro spec electromagnetic spectrum, okay? Visible light is only a very small part. We have not been able to, you know, access everything because we were never, there was never a demand for it. There was never a training for it. We at some point in time learned to walk, which was a limited spectrum. But then when we learned how to ride a bicycle, when we learned how to do the swimming, we actually expanded our spectrum of mobility. Okay, so that's what we mean when we say access to yourself as a human being, what is available and what could be made available. What you have available right now is a very tiny fraction of who you are and who you could be. So, I think we've already said this, we do not have eyes to see ultraviolet or radio waves, but they are useful, okay? They may be made available, may be made accessible to you. So from that perspective, what is it that would give you access to the new you? We want to invent a new you. So what would give access to you, the new you? There are many, many parts. We will explore only a few of them, but then it is your journey to take it further, okay? So that's the commitment that we have for you to access new worlds. For now, of course, we will give you access to reading. We want you to get reintroduced to reading, okay? And that was what the first assignment is, the quiz that is already on IIT Bombay X interface. Please go over it. There are some questions that we've asked over there. So in the questions we have asked, what have you read so far? What are some of your favorite books? And then to be able to write down what your favorite books are and say why. We, in the interest of time, we will not do this now, but maybe when we get a chance next time, we could do this, okay? But you should come ready with a list of your favorite books and why do you like them, all right? And uh, what, plan, what books do you plan to read and why? And I think the number of books that people have read, we will add them all up and become, have them become available to you. People will even tell you from what you say as to why they like that book and if you'd like to pick up and read, you know, you're welcome to then have a reading list. So we're going to talk about reading as a practice, okay? So Sachin Tendulkar, everybody knows Sachin Tendulkar, yes? Uh, or any great sports person, okay? They practice, 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 okay? That's what they do, practice, net practice, practice before the match, go for the match, come back, practice again. So practice is so much a part of life, whether it's Sachin Tendulkar, whether it's a yogi, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a professor, whether it is a student, okay? You are a student and you have certain practices. You attend classes, you do homework, you give exams. So there's a certain practice that you're already participating in. Any great human being would have practices. Okay, you look at any successful person, if you read any biographies, they will actually, you should be able to pick up what are the practices that had them become great. Okay, so that's something that you should look at. So I'm just going to assert that like breathing is to living, Reading is to a great life. You really want a great life? You got to read, 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 read and read, okay? And you really got to have it become a practice. All right, and uh, you know, like good eating is important. You may, in order for you to include reading, you may need to cut down on some junk food, okay? And I'm not going to say what the junk food is. Food for thought, so some things that you keep feeding yourself in, you know, you may have to take away time from that and put work, you know, put your time towards reading, okay? So have quality reading happen. Those, so, the promises I'm requesting from you now. Ready? Here are the promises I'm requesting. Start reading. Go to the web. Search for training on reading. You know, you and I have been trained to read a particular way, but there's a lot of skills in reading. And the more you practice skill, those skills, the easier reading would become, the faster you'd be able to read. The volume that you can read is much more. And the more you can read more volume, the larger you become as a human being. Okay, so we really want you to be so large that you fill the entire universe. That's the kind of person that I'm committed that you actually become, all right? All right, so this week, please put 15 minutes aside every day for reading. Next week, 30 minutes. Third week, 45 minutes. Just let's take it easy, okay? One day you take one round, second day you take two rounds, third day you take two rounds, in one week you go to four rounds. Don't do it overnight. I know magic is overnight, but some of these practices, when you learned how to walk, you fell down many, 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 many times before you started to learn to walk. 
So 15 minutes, one day you will do it, next day you won't do it. Third day, go back to it and do it. Don't pass a sentence on yourself to say, I will never be able to read. I na na na, I na na na. So don't do all of that. Just, you're a human being. If you're learning how to ride a bicycle, gravity will do its work. It will make you fall. You have to continue to make friends with gravity such that all the practices that have been in place are gradually replaced with good practices. And one of the practices that we're proposing is reading. Okay? Got to do reading, reading, and reading. So you got to be a mad person about reading. Okay? All right. In a month, you'll be reading for an hour a day in a month's time. Not today, not tomorrow, but in a month from now. All right? And you need to, so body needs food, you need reading. All right? You, you, body needs food. Okay? But you, you understand the Y-O-U is the capital Y-O-U. It's you, you as a human being, you, you need reading. You got to do reading. All right? So just, I can't emphasize this enough now. All right. So, you want to make a promise to your partner. This is where your partner becomes very, very important. All right? You make a promise to your partner and the partner makes a promise to you that you will fulfill on this promise. And if you don't, call up your partner, say, sorry, I did not keep your promise, but I'm re-promising. So, you want to start practice this thing that great human beings do. If you bake a promise, clean it up, make sure you make the new promise. Okay? So, please do that with your partners right now. I'll stop for a moment, make a promise to your partner right now. I'll leave the slide on. Okay, the other thing I'd like for you to do, please share with your partners your email and your cell phone so that you can keep promises to each other about reading. All right, Surat, how are you? Excellent. All right, can you hear me? Say yes. Excellent. So, tell me what is it that I'm asking you to do as promises. So, one of you share with me. What is the promise you're making to your partner? Yeah, good morning, sir. My name is Inderjeet Kaur. And in between, we lost connection. So I just heard that you, you were discussing about reading every week uh, 15 minutes, investing 15 minutes for reading. Yes, but not every week, every day of the week. Okay, yeah, every day of the week. Okay, yeah. very good, yeah. And so first and week... And later on, we lost connection, sir. No problem. So first week, you do 15 minutes per day. Next week, you move it to 30 minutes. Next week, you move it to 45 minutes. By the end of the month, you should be putting one hour every day for reading. Yes, sir. So we will surely do it. Okay, good. So now you can't do it alone, okay? You'll have to, because human beings have a lot of conspiracy going on in their head. Mind will play tricks on you. So it's important to make a promise to a partner and then make sure that you and your partner keep promises to each other. So who's your partner? So my partner is Ronak. Okay, so say to Ronak, Ron, no. Good give, morning, give, sir. Hi, Rona. give the microphone back. <laughs> yes, sir. So make a promise to Ronak. What's the promise you're making to him? Sir, we will both help each other on this journey of soft skills and we will start doing that by reading. Very good. So you please exchange your phone numbers and your email and make sure that each one has done the reading for 15 minutes every day for this week and then 30 minutes for yes. next week. So you're going to become really yes. partners with each other for fulfillment of this course. Yes, Rohan? sir, we will. All right, Ronak, let me talk to him, Ronak. Ronak? Yes, sir, good morning. Now, listen, you know, what's your name? Sorry, what's your partner's name? Inderjeet Kaur. So, Inderjeet is a tough cookie, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, she'll, she'll really take you to task. Yes, sir, thank okay, you. Okay, now, yeah, say thank you. Very good. <laughs> so, you want to be equally tough with her, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. I don't want you to be nice friends to each other. I want you to be friends like you are committed to each other's growth and development. Yes, sir. So, everybody in the room, if you agree with that with your partner, please raise your hands. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you very much for your commitment, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank one you, more. sir. All right, thank you. One more. One more. Okay, Sardar Patel Institute, Andheri, how are you? Sir, the promise which I have made to my partner is that I will start reading a uh, non-fiction uh, non genre. Up till now, I have in my childhood, I have read various books uh, which are based on fiction. But now I have promised to my partner that I will move on to the uh, non-fiction world and pick up a book and start reading uh, from that for uh, 15 minutes every day. Yes, for the first week, 15 minutes, then 30 minutes, okay? Yes, sir. Who's your partner? Sir, my partner is Jairana. Okay. So, Jairaman, this is 
the promise you she will only be able to honor her promise if you are committedly listening yes you have to be committedly listening if she fails i will catch you uh, yes um, okay yes if she does not keep her promises i will catch you uh, definitely sir all right okay very good all right so give a big hand to each other thank you give a big hand yeah thank you all right very good all right so with with that uh, dr leena jha and i would like to say bye bye and uh, please stay interacting with us through the quiz and we will keep putting up assignments i look forward to working with you i am very very inspired uh, by your commitment thank you very very much whether it is you know 10 people or whether it's a thousand people i can hear the commitment in every center i really want to appreciate who you are and the commitment that you're bringing to this course i want to thank all the coordinators for doing all the work so that this is possible okay so with that i want to say thank you and jai hind